Now, going over to the culture part of the podcast, you have Bud Light Backyard Kentucky YouTube video getting less than 200 views on the YouTube. Now, when we go to the actual vehicle, and friendly reminder to take the time to subscribe and like this video, I am confident we can get more likes for this video than the actual video that Bud Light put out. Now, Bud Light, this got specifically at the time of this recording, this is called Bud Light Backyard, Co Backyard College Tour, Kentucky. You got 168 views. This is posted over 11, about 11 days ago. Not to brag, but one of my videos last week got 300 views. Humble brag. Some might say we're twice as good as Bud Light. Although, now that I think about the bar for that is so low, it's hard to think of anything that isn't better than twice as good as Bud Light. But nevertheless, it is an achievement in and of itself, perhaps, from a certain point of view. Now, Again, it got 168 views. It got two likes. And I'm confident. Again, I'm not. A, I'm, when it comes to gambling, I mostly invest in myself and my businesses and my people. But if I were a gambling man, I'm confident that we can get more than two likes on this video. So if you can click that like button, I would especially appreciate it because, gosh darn, I think we are better than Bud Light. But that's just my three cents, which incidentally is worth more than a cup of Bud Light beer. Now, going to this video, we'll play it. It's pretty quick. It's about 35 seconds long. And... You'll, you'll notice a couple things. And again, if you do have suggestions for picture-in-picture -picture software recording technologies, greatly appreciate your feedback. I've tested out a couple, so having some technical issues with the camera working with the software. Probably when things wind down close to Christmas, I'll increase the allocation that I have towards researching the time for that. Um, actually, take that, reverse it, time for researching, nevertheless. But if you have comments, I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'm open to having a paid version. I'm using open source OBS software right now, but always looking to improve the show and the show quality. So that being said, I'll go ahead and play the video really quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First thing off the bat, you've got high energetic music and college students. Wait a minute. But we were told by Bud Light, Alyssa Hydershaw, the brilliant marketing, she, she was very proud about the fact that she was gonna change the brand and she said it was too fratty. Interesting. And they got Cal. Oh, well, I was gonna say we're only two seconds in, and the music is abhorrent to say the least. But another issue with this, we're not seeing the myriad of diversity in here. Seeing a lot of white folks is. I was gonna say I don't know if the youth use that as a term these days, but some people use it as a term. And that's another issue that we were told is a big issue with the brand. Let's let's keep going. Cultural appropriation. They're wearing a Texas hat? How dare they? That's our thing. Kidding. Kind of. God, that music is terrible. They're handing out, handing out Bud Light koozies and aluminum Bud Light cans with what I assume is their local university's logo. I still have not seen a single pride flag in the, I can't speak today. However, if you click subscribe, it could assist with my speaking ineptitudes and help with my enunciation. It's not 100% guaranteed. There are very few things in life that are. However, it could very well assist. Just saying it can't hurt to try. Then the final font is the Bud Light Backyard College Tour. Which again, we'll play the last couple seconds. Maybe we'll be surprised by something interesting at the end of the video, of this video. Now, interesting. Very little diversity, not a single drag show performer or gay pride flag, which when we look at Bud Light's marketing allocation, past- I'm George Kittle. <laughs> oh, apologize for that little, these videos, Bud Light. Stop those videos, Bud Light, we've had enough. But it's one of the instances where they've spent a lot of marketing dollars sponsoring those types of um, children-friendly drag shows, which I use in quotations marks because I don't think that's a real thing because so many of them are just pure sexual performance with very little clothes on, which anyone with a modicum of intelligence would say, no, that is not child-friendly. Now, this is kind of like their old commercials years ago. So let's go in the comments. And believe it or not, there are comments on this video Though, I believe we could beat them in that metric as well. So, again, I suspect this video has 168 views, 
two likes, I can't help but think we'll beat them in that regard. And they have four comments. So let's go to the comments. So let's see. I uh, wonder what the odds are. Are they good? Happy? Sad? Dive and find out. Someone by the name of Magmus Richie 4766. Interesting name. Gentleman says, Community College of Kentucky. Unquote. No likes on that comment. I don't know if that's if they're accurate or not. What's UK? I thought it would be University of Kentucky. They're forcing me to look up Sports Ball's logo. Okay. UK. The Kentucky Wildcats. So is that... Who are they? Kentucky Wildcats. University of Kentucky. So I don't think it's a community one. Nevertheless, it is a university in Kentucky. Look, let's see here. Someone by the name of VTown5630 simply has an emoji of a someone throwing up. Well, actually, one sick emoji and two throwing up emojis, which I would say A plus for accuracy say that is what inevitably seems to happen when people ingest Bud Light. It is not recommended for your health or your taste buds. Now, someone by the name of Leah Bush2608 says, quote, Who are they? Unquote, getting 11 likes, which is a throwback reference to. Bud Light brilliantly hiring the trans activist Dylan Mulvaney as their brand ambassador and paying this person $185,000. Which, geez Louise, talk about a negative ROI. Q2 alone, Bud Light lost $400 million in sales. That is perhaps the most negative ROI in history. I can't think of anything worse than that, historically speaking. Let me know in the comments if you can think of anything else. That comment, who are they, got 11 likes. Sean Brownstone says, quote, Looks a little too fratty. You know the customer base your VP Alyssa Hydroshot said you want to get away from. That got two likes. And that's it. Again, Bud Light used to be one of the most beloved brands in America. And it's almost unfathomable. They got under 200 views. And they have a lot of subscribers. They have 170 or 197,000 subscribers. They got over that hump of 100,000 subscribers. That's, that's pretty decent. Not for a global brand like that. However, if you click the subscribe button down there, we could get there close enough, or soon enough, perhaps. Time shall tell. But as Bud Light continues to attempt to have a comeback for their marketing, I can't help but think the cultural shift is not going to accept their apologies or accept their new marketing, because authenticity is one of the most difficult things to generate as a brand or even as a person. And once you lose it, it's not like you could just fix it in a New York minute. It takes sometimes a lifetime to regain those customers, if ever. Now, let me know in the comments, do you think they'll regain those customers that they've alienated so brilliantly? That's using the word brilliantly in a sarcastic tone, obviously. It'll be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, again, for taking the time to tune in today, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of November. So, if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a comment is a great way to give feedback so I know how to improve the channel and make the show better and better so that everyone can have fun. Also, and lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, Tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone, just stay safe and fight the good fight.